Hi friends, uh, Venn diagram is a very important topic for the CAT exam and maximum minima questions are a CAT favorite. So today we will look at one such uh, set of questions. Now my request is if you are comfortable with the Venn diagrams, uh, please pause the video here, work out the set and then join me for the discussion of these questions. So let's look at the data given. So we have a movie house, or, or, you know, they're calling 120 candidates uh, for an audition, okay? And they are being evaluated based on three parameters, okay? So we have, we're looking for people who are photogenic, creative, and emotive. And based on that, some details are given, okay? And it also says that each candidate has at least one of the attributes which means that there is no one who is outside the set of the three parameters. None of this is not involved, okay? So let us, uh, before we read any further, I mean, let us uh, go and uh, draw the basic diagram and then uh, revisit the data, okay? So a three element uh, Venn diagram. So we're talking about photogenic, okay? We're talking about a set of people who are creative and emotive. Fine. Now the the total okay is uh, one hundred and twenty. I'm not using uh, any notations like mu and all that. I mean, in in Venn diagrams, I mean, I'll try and generally sort of avoid all these. Uh, a union B kind of stuff. I mean, we can do Venn diagrams pretty simply, you know, two element, three, three element, four, and then CAD has also asked five element Venn diagram question. So once you know, understand the concepts, it's very easy to do it. So let's not try and uh, complicate uh, things by using unnecessary notations as such. Okay. Now, um, if you look at the data here, we're talking about in the table, photogenic and creative, okay? Ph photogenic and creative, but not emotive. Okay, so phot photogenic, creative, okay, but not emotive. So we're talking about this, which is seven, okay. So they are photogenic and creative, but they're outside the circle of emotive. We also uh, use a terminology here, like we call them also only photogenic and creative. Okay, and uh, in Venn diagrams, we need to understand the difference between saying photogenic and creative would be this complete area, these two areas together, photogenic and creative. And this seven means only. So, you know, um, look at the difference between the two. Okay, uh, creative and emotive, okay, creative and emotive, but then not photogenic. So, which means that creative and emotive, but not photogenic means we are talking about this particular area, which is 10. Photogenic or emotive, but not creative. So, which means that we're talking about this plus this plus this. So before we take that up, let us, uh, you know, um, uh, read further, and then we will come back to this particular data of 95. Each candidate has at least one of the three attributes. So none of this, usually, otherwise we would provide a circular saying none of this. So that's not here. And for any attribute, the number of candidates were only that attribute, okay? For any attribute, let us say photogenic, then, let's say we are looking at this particular attribute, then the number of candidates who had only that, so what is only photogenic, this area is only photogenic, did not exceed one third of the total. So this would be less than or equal to one third of the total. So that will be one third of 120. So one third of 120 would be 40. So for any attribute, let's same thing goes with creative. Suppose we are talking about the creative uh, attribute, then the number of candidates who had only that attribute, which is only creative, will be less than or equal to 40. And here again, less than or equal to 40. Okay. So, uh, and then th there are two candidates who possess all the three. So, two possess all the three. So, let's do one thing. Let us write this, give notations, and then, uh, you know, give these values separately. So, I'm going to put this as A, that is only photogenic. This is B. That is only creative. This is only emotive, which is C. And then let me give this as, let us say Y. Okay. Now I know that A is less than or equal to 40. 
B is less than or equal to 40, and C is also less than or equal to 40. Now, the total we know is 120, right? So the, this is the total, and out of which we have got 7, 2, and 10 as three numbers which are available. So 19 is gone, which means that the remaining areas together, A plus B plus Y plus C, would be A plus B plus Y plus C would be out of this 120, you take away 7 plus 2 plus 10, which is 19. So 120 minus 19 gives me 101. And let us put it as my first equation. Now let us come back to the table and look at this particular data here. Photogenic or emot emotive, but not creative. So you're, they are outside the creative circle. They are outside the creative circle. And they can be photogenic or emotive. Okay which means anybody who comes within the this particular area, photogenic or emotive circle, but outside the creative, okay? So A plus Y plus C. A plus Y plus C gives 29, I mean, it's given as 95. So straight away, if I, that's my second equation. So if I combine the two, straight away, I can find the value of B, right? Okay, so A, Y, and C, are common, so 101 minus 95 gives me 6. So I get B is equal to 6. So this is the general data which is uh, given, okay, and we have drawn diagrams and you know, form two equations based on that. So let us go to a fresh page and look at the questions straight away, okay? There are four questions, so we'll take uh, each one of them and uh, you know, look at how the maxima and minima concepts apply. So let's say the first question says, what is the minimum number of candidates who had at least two of the three att attributes? At least two of the three means people who had two attributes or more, okay? So which means we are talking about this area plus this area plus this area. That's exactly two attributes plus this area, which is three attributes. So we are, we are looking at what find the minimum value of uh, y plus 7 plus 2 plus 10, which is 19, okay? So I want to find the minimum of y plus 19, which is pretty easy because if I look at this particular equation here, okay, this particular equation, okay, it totals to 95, and here I want to find the minimum value of y from this. So if I want to find the minimum value of this, then the idea would be to maximize the other values, that is a and c. Sure? And I'm given this data here, okay, and this data here. So what can be the maximum possible value of, let's say, a plus y plus c? So what can be the maximum possible uh, value of a max is 40, right? Less than or equal to 40, so max is 40. This again is max 40, which means that the minimum value of y has to be 15, okay? 90 minus 40 minus 40 is 15. So now what will be y plus 19, okay? Minimum value, that will be 15 plus 19, and my answer is 34, got it, okay? So we are asked to find out the minimum number of candidates with at least two of the three. So at least two would be two or more. So two or more would be seven plus 10 plus y plus two. So I need to find the minimum value of this, okay? And for that, I maximize, come, come to this equation, and then to find minimum value of y, I put the maximum values possible for a and c. So I'll put 40 and 40 here and I'll get y is equal to 15, okay? And then come back and substitute in this particular expression, y plus 19 gives me my answer as 34. Okay, that's a pretty straightforward question. Let's move to a different question now. Now here, the number of candidates with emotive skills is less than the people who were photogenic, then at least minimum. Typically, uh, Venn diagram questions play around with the expressions at least and at most. So here, 
that's why we say maximum minima. So here we are talking about at least would be minimum. Minimum how many candidates were emotive as well as photogenic. Emotive as well as photogenic would be Y plus two. So we are trying to find the minimum value of Y plus two. So why Y plus two? Because what is Y? Y is only photogenic and emotive. Whereas when you're saying photogenic and emotive, it will be these two areas together, Y plus two. Now, here we've got another data which says that the number of candidates with emotive skills, okay? So it, number of candidates with emotive skills would be C plus Y here, the circle, okay? So C plus Y plus two plus 10. So C plus Y plus 12 is less than those with photogenic uh, attribute, okay? So less than this entire circle, A plus Y plus nine. A plus Y plus nine, that Y cancels out on uh, both sides. And then here you get C plus three is less than uh, A, or A would be greater than C plus three. Now, we have to find the minimum value of y plus two, which means we had to find the minimum value of y. So like we did in the earlier question, we go to this particular expression and try and find the minimum value of y. So to find the minimum value of y, I try and put the maximum possible values for a max, max values for a and, and c. Now, what can be the maximum value for a? So A we know is less than or equal to 40. So the maximum possible value for A is 40. So what can be the maximum value of C? The maximum value of C can only be 36. Now look at this particular expression here. So if A is 40 and it has to be greater than the right hand side, then the maximum value here can only be 36. Because if C is 37, then the two sides become equal. That's not possible. We have an inequality here. So which means that the maximum value of C is 36. So now if we look at it, A plus Y plus C, here I've got 40 and that's equal to 95 is the expression that we have, the second equation that we have. And if I substitute here, this is 36. So which means that Y is equal to 19. So we need to find, so what is, the value of y plus two. This is what we want to find, right? Y plus two. So what will be y plus two? So the answer would be, answer is y plus two, that will be 19 plus two. We're talking about 21 as my answer here. Okay, here we talk about uh, exactly half the candidates who were photogenic were also emotive. And exactly half the candidates who were emotive were also photogenic. Now, this is uh, a type of a statement where uh, you know, there are, I know uh, stu some students who get uh, uh, pretty tense by reading such kind of statements. I mean, they try and read very fast and they say, okay, you know, half the people are photogenic, we're not also emotive, and half the uh, people who are emotive are all photogenic, and you know, they just get confused. So, take it cool, take it cool, always take it cool. So, let us look at it. Exactly. Half the candidates who are photogenic were also emotive. So half the candidates who are photogenic are also here in the emotive uh, category. Okay, so half the photogenic circle is also here, this area, okay? Half of them are here. Okay, half of them is here. So where are the other half? The other half is A plus seven. So half the circle is Y plus two, half of them is Y plus two. The other half is A plus seven, or in simple terms, we are saying that A plus seven is equal to Y plus two, or Y is equal to A plus five. Now let us read the second part of the statement, okay? And exactly half, so exactly half the candidates who were emotive were also photogenic. Half the emotive circle were also photogenic, the same area, okay? This area. Half the emotive circle, right? So which means that if you look at the, the, the emotive circle, half were here, half is y plus two. The other half is what? C plus 10. 
half of the circle is here. So naturally the other half is the balance C plus 10. So which means that C plus 10 is equal to Y plus 2 or Y is equal to C plus 8. Now what do we have to find out? Then how many candidates were only photogenic? So I need to find out the value of A. Okay, that's what I have to find out, only photogenic. Now, where do I get A? What are the expression for A? Again, the same equation we're going to pick up, okay? The same equation, okay? A plus Y plus C is equal to 95, and from there, we need to get A. So, now if I look at these two expressions here, okay? Fine. I would be able to replace A and replace C in terms of y. How do I do that? So suppose if I add these two, so let us say I add, okay, which is a quick, quick way of doing it, okay, then I'll get 2y is equal to a plus c plus 13, or a plus c is equal to 2y minus 13. So now using this particular expression here, so I already know what is a plus c, so a plus C that I have got here in terms of Y. So that is 2Y minus 13, and then plus this Y here, plus Y is equal to 95, or 3Y is equal to 108, and Y is equal to 36. Now we need to find out what? We need to find out A, that's what we're looking at. What is A is the question, okay? So what is A? Where do I have that? Here. Okay, we already have an equation connecting y and a. So what is uh, a? a is equal to y minus 5 from there, okay? a is equal to y minus 5, which is 36 minus 5, and we get the answer as 31. The last question in this set, uh, if, we, if the number of candidates who were photogenic was twice those who had at least two attributes, then at least how many candidates were only emotive? So we are looking for the minimum value of C. Minimum value of C, okay? So let us look at the data. If the number of candidates were photogenic, so the circle here, A plus Y plus nine, okay? is twice the number of people who had at least two, and we have seen this in an earlier question, at least two would be the sum of these areas. Okay, exactly two plus all the three. So that will be two times y plus seven plus two plus 10 is 19. Okay, so that is two y plus 38, one y is gone. So you get a plus nine would be equal to y plus 38 or a is equal to y plus 29, okay? So what we need to uh, find out is the minimum value of C and where do I get that? The same expression again here, okay? So I want to have the minimum value of C, which means that I will put maximum values for the other two, okay? So. If I want to find the maximum value of y, okay, because in this particular expression, I want the minimum value of c, okay, which means that I will maximize the value of a and maximize the value of y. So if I have to maximize the value of y here, I can get the maximum value of y only by putting a is equal to 40. So if a is equal to 40, then y is equal to 11. So I'm putting max, max value for A, and then Y max will be equal to 11. So A plus Y plus C is equal to 95 is the equation that we have. And this is maximum is 40. And here it is 11, which means that I will get the minimum value of C as 95 minus 51, which is 44, okay? and. Uh, that's the answer to this particular question. So this is a very important uh, area. I mean, I just had a peek into this. I mean, I again took a, a generally a easier question to make you comfortable, and then we will actually build on this and, 
you know, take up higher end questions as we go along. But then keep in mind that uh, Venn diagrams is a very important area in CAT and uh, maximum minima is a CAT favorite. So get your basics correct on this, okay, and your concepts. Thank you. Take care.